Hi guys, yeah, this is Anthony again, and uh, let me share you experience uh, uh, that I had uh, traveling with the uh, best airline in Africa, that is an uh, Ethiopian airline uh, that was coming from uh, Doha, Qatar, uh, through uh, an airport called uh, Hamad International Airport, uh, going to Bole International Airport, which is the main airport in uh, Ethiopia. So, as you show, I headed uh, straight, uh, straight to the check-in. But uh, I had a problem because uh, my luggage has exceeded uh, the maximum allowed weight. Uh, the Ethiopia airline uh, usually allows uh, 40 kilograms for the for the main bags and the hard luggage, uh, 10 kilograms. So I had to leave some uh, of my items in the airport, but that was the key because I tried to make sure that I had uh, whatever it is that uh, was valuable to me. So after that, as you can see, uh, Hamad International Airport, after which I came uh, and I went through immigration. After that, uh, we start to proceed into the gates. I had something to eat very quickly. It was very early in the morning. I did my check-in at around uh, 1 in the morning. And uh, one of the things that, uh, as you can see here, is that uh, this airline, uh, this particular flight was carrying a lot of uh, Ethiopian athletes who were competing in the just concluded uh, IAAF that was held in Doha. So it was uh, a rare honor traveling with them. Uh, the type of aircraft that you see here uh, that we were using is Boeing 777-200LR jet. So this is the type of uh, jet that we are using. So you can see now we are proceeding to go to do the final check-in. Then uh, we will be allowed to go to the plane. You can see um, this is a this is an announcement obviously for the safety and security. You must uh, pay attention to the uh, announcement. Yeah, always. Um, making sure that uh, you understand in case of emergency and how you are going to react whenever they have an uh, emergency. So this is one thing uh, that you have to make sure that you pay a lot of attention to. So here we'll just start checking out. Uh, they have uh, some magazines and uh, some and everything just like uh, any other airline. And I was just checking out. Uh, as you can see here, this is uh, a booklet that uh, you can read. For your safety, now uh, also they have uh, uh, some of the magazines are uh, doing the advertisement and uh, also trying to probably market the Ethiopia as a tourist uh, destination. And that was a good idea. Ethiopia Airline is by far uh, at the moment uh, based uh, airline in Africa, and uh, you they travel to a lot of destinations and most people they prefer the Ethiopian airline because of the service that they offer they have a very good uh, hostess and uh, they do uh, try to make sure that uh, uh, everything that they offer is according to uh, international standard so for that one uh, if you're booking with Ethiopian airline uh, Ethiopia Airline is by far, uh, at the moment, uh, the best uh, airline in Africa and uh, you, they travel to a lot of destinations and most people they prefer the Ethiopian Airline because of the service that they offer. They have a very good uh, hostess and uh, they do uh, try to make sure that uh, uh, everything that they offer is according to uh, international standard. So for that one, uh, if you're booking with UPA airline, uh, it's a good advantage that uh, they make sure that uh, they take care of their uh, of their passengers. Um, here we are, we are on the taxiway, uh, you know, uh, so that we can go and proceed to the runway. 
I try to check the screen. Every it had a screen, so I was trying to see whether it's working. So that I, in case I need to go on for entertainment, I will just uh, go ahead without anything. So as you can see here now, uh, the full thrust. Uh, one of my best moments is the full thrust. Now we are just at the Hamad International Airport. International Airport heading now to Bole International Airport. And this is the city of Doha. Uh, usually, you see the side of Sukwaki first, uh, Sukuria. Uh, this, uh, this is where the old uh, Doha was located, and after that. Uh, See the, uh, the the area that I'm trying to zoom here is uh, CB is the city center of Doha. Then after that you can see how uh, beautiful the city is. And we continued with our flight. The route that uh, we took was Qatar. Um, we went straight away to Saudi Arabia. From Saudi Arabia, we went to straight away to the uh, Red Sea. Then from there, we entered the uh, Ethiopian airspace. So here you can see how uh, beautiful it is. The skyline at night, and so now you can see we have already. Uh, left Saudi Arabia airspace. We are already in uh, Ethiopian uh, airspace, and uh, then after that, we were offered uh, a meal, and uh, this is what uh, they offered us. I had my mains, and my salad, and also I took some uh, coffee that was to make sure that uh, I'm concentrating on my flight. Uh, let me just open so that you can see uh, what uh, is inside. This is what they offered. And now this radio will have water in place.
and now uh, this is the my, this was my best part uh, because in early morning as you can see I do believe that was uh, as you can see there were crowds uh, we have a little bit are diverted on the right on the right and I think that's what the reason why because there were a lot of crowds what you can see the crowds are probably uh, the crowds that were very beautiful and now I'm going to the lava tree mm. uh, so you have if you, you you if you have not locked you have the LED like telling you please uh, lock the uh, lava tree then after lock then uh, you can go ahead and use the lava tree uh, so the hygiene is okay it's great let me just say the hygiene is not just okay it's great they have done a very good job to make sure that everything is working and uh, everything is in order and uh, everything was available that was good so now i'm walking on the aisle uh, heading back to my seat you can see uh, a lot of people have slept uh, some of the people are uh, watching the movies or listening to music or making sure that they are on entertained and another uh, best part of uh, the journey was uh, when I saw the Addis Ababa. As you can see, this is the Addis Ababa from the uh, from the prey. I'm going to because I took a, a long video of this one. I'm going to be sharing the video of Addis Ababa from the uh, from from the air. So uh, let's continue with the flight because here we are landing, and we landed in the. Uh, uh, the Sababa in, uh, in the Bole International Airport. It is a very big airport and uh, they are also renovating it. So thank you so much for watching my videos and uh, thank you so much for your continued support. I'll make, I'll make sure that uh, I try to bring you the best uh, video in uh, everywhere I go. I'm going to be sharing with you the experiences, uh, especially here in Africa so make sure you subscribe and share so that you can reach more thank you